Hi, I'm new to PowerShell. How can Power PowerWF help me? That's a great question. I probably start with the toolbox. The toolbox shows all the activities that are available for PowerWF workflows. It also provides a search feature so that I can find just the right activity. For example, if I wanted to find activities that could interact with the event log, I would type event log, and I immediately see a whole bunch of PowerShell activities related to using the Windows event log. If you've looked at any PowerShell script, you've probably seen the select object command. Well, PowerWF can help you figure out what that command does. We'll start by typing select object here in the search bar. We'll select it, and we'll go over to the help pane. It will give us a little bit of information about what select object does. One of the really neat features is all of the examples from within the PowerShell help window are provided within PowerWF's help. So I can scroll through these examples till I find an interesting one. And then I just use these buttons to either create a new workflow or insert into an existing workflow. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new workflow based on select object. So I type select object example. And we bring up a PowerShell editor. I can just immediately test it and we see what the command does or I can go ahead and once I'm happy with it I go ahead and click OK. This turns the PowerShell script into a PowerWF workflow. So I can see that that complex PowerShell script was turned into a PowerWF workflow with basically three commands, get process, sort object, and select object. If I look at the properties for my select object command, I can see that I'm basically looking for the last five items. We can go ahead and run this command here. And all the results are showing up down in this console output. Well, sure, that's the way he'd do it. Let me show you the way I'd do it. Well, Jim's right. PowerWF is a great starting point uh, for learning PowerShell. You can just tool around the app and find uh, find interesting things, uh, find some great starting points for learning PowerShell, um, or just honing your skills. Uh, if you're anything like me, though, you don't look inside of a single app or a single or a couple of resources. You're looking for every source of information, and there are plenty, plenty of good blogs, good podcasts, and even good content you can find in Twitter and Facebook uh, about PowerShell. Let's grab some script uh, that we found in in, uh, in a Twitter search and put that into a into a workflow here. So I'll just bring the PowerShell dialog up. I'll paste in the script. Now I can hit play to see if it works, first of all. And it does appear to work. And we'll hit OK. And it'll turn that script into a workflow. Let's take a look at it. It makes a call to get w my object. And it passes in the Win32 network adapter configuration as the class. I don't see anything else going on here in the properties. The where object is a single where clause, where IP address is not null. That makes sense. And in the select, you can see if you expand the property, there are four, four columns being selected from the output, and then it formats it to a list. Let's just play this script. So we hit play, and there it goes. And there's that same data that you'd see if you were in PowerShell. So it's a different way of looking at PowerShell. Well, let's say in addition to to this, we want to change the sort order. Let's say we want to change the sort order. So in the original script, you know, it's not necessarily obvious how you would do that. But as a workflow, we can just search for sort. And sure enough, we see in the PowerShell pack, sort object. So let's just drag that over here. And we're going to sort based on IP address. All right, so currently the order is this, 192.10, 192.168.10, 192.168.70. Uh, and then zero. So let's rerun with this new sort object in there. And you see now the order is 0 0.1, 10.87, and then 70.1. So there you go. Uh, PowerWF is a great resource for learning PowerShell. Uh, it's very easy to modify properties of these commandlets here in the property view. It's a very familiar interface. Uh, adding, uh, adding new commandlets into this pipeline. Very, very simple to do. Drag and drop. 
and set the properties. Um, just a great way to learn PowerShell. The context sensitive help here, excellent. And you can insert these examples straight into your workflow at any time. So I hope that answers your question. And uh, I hope that you try PowerDBF to help, uh, help you on your quest to learn PowerShell. Thanks. To download an evaluation copy of PowerWF, go to www.powerwf.com.